Hi everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side to me I want to talk about. As you all know, I'm autistic. My case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today I'll be reviewing the Disney and Pixar short film, Loop, which can be seen on Disney+. Plus. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This video was inspired by the 12 minute film Loop. This film is about a teenager named Renee who happens to be voiced by someone who is actually autistic, a teenage girl named Madison Bandy. Renee loves canoeing and the camp counselor pairs her up with a talkative boy named Marcus. The film starts with Renee playing with her phone as a form of stimming, playing music accompanied by the sounds of a dog barking. Marcus is confused about why Renee won't talk at first as she makes noises to express her feelings. One point they are out on the lake. Renee shows Marcus the poop emoji on her phone, which makes him think that she needs to go to the bathroom, when in reality, Renee was trying to tell him to take her close to the reeds that are in the water on the lake. Then Marcus takes Renee into a tunnel so she can play the noise on her phone so it can vibrate. Things go fine until a speedboat goes by causing Renee to panic and it leads to a meltdown after crashing onto the shore. She ends up throwing her phone into the water and then hides underneath the overturned canoe. Marcus calms Renee down with the reed he finds as she plays with it. Then they imitate the sound that she played on her phone and they get back into the canoe to go back to the camp. Then later at the end of the film, Renee's phone was recovered from the lake and is in a bowl of rice, which comes back to life with Marcus texting her, asking if she wants to go canoeing around 3 p.m. My thought, thoughts on this sh short film, the people at Disney and Pixar did a great job on making this film. They did their homework when it comes to autism awareness. They used consultants from the Autistic Self Advocacy Network to make sure that the portrayal of Renee was accurate to someone who's nonverbal. As I stated earlier, they used an actual person with autism to voice Renee for this film. As Madison Bandy recorded the sounds Renee makes at her home due to her not feeling comfortable with recording them in a recording studio. This film was created as part of Pixar's Spark Shots program. This gives their employees about six months and limited budgets to make short films that are inspired by things that happen in real life. This film really captures autism awareness and shows someone who's non-verbal what they see and hear. I can relate to Renee as, as I have had my own meltdowns and have thrown my own phone before, which is something you shouldn't really do. Though for the scene, which is, though this isn't a tech video or a tech channel, I do want to point something out, mainly the scene where Renee's phone is in rice. You really don't ever put your phone or electronics in rice that's been water damage. It's been proven not to work. As pointed out by YouTubers like the phone repair guru. I'll be sure to post the link to his channel in the description below. And I will also post the link to watch this video on Disney Plus in the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, 
wear a mask in public indoor settings, practice social distancing, wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you, most importantly, get vaccinated, and lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and together, we are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.